to speak your mind, speak your mind, speak your mind. Speak your mind, speak your mind, speak your mind. Just speak your mind. Speak your mind. You know, I like speaking my mind. Everywhere I go, I like giving my opinion. Speak your mind on Dean TV. A warm welcome to you. Another show, another day. My name is Jane K, and this is Speak Your Mind on Dean TV. Well, we've got prices going up like crazy. It was recently announced that the fuel prices will be going up, followed by the decision of, the e of implementing ETOLs, not forgetting the increase of electricity. What are we going to do? Where does this leave us? That is why today we're out here asking you, the viewers out there, what exactly you think about our topic at hand. My name is Jane Kay and I'll catch you later on the show. Speak your mind on Dean TV. Good day, ma'am. You're looking very nice. Thank you. What's your name? I'm Khadija Isaacs. Miss Isaacs, I'd love to ask you. We've got everything going up. Fuel prices are going up. It's been announced that um, ETOLs might be implemented even more. And as well, um, electricity tariffs going up. Can you think about it? Can you even just imagine having to pay more for electricity and for, you know, for fuel? No, I can't. They're already taking so much of our money. So, yeah. What can we do about this? I mean, this is so frustrating at the end of the day. Because, I mean, we're still getting the same amount of wages at the end of the day. We're still getting paid the same, but yet all these prices are going up. Government, hello, what's going on? Government should firstly stop stealing our money. And secondly, we can all go live in Botswana. Because apparently the fuel prices are 7 rand there. And they also get... Um, electricity from ESCOM, but they don't get load shedding. Can you imagine? We are giving them electricity and they're not even being affected by this. Why though? Um, I don't know, I'm not sure, but I think that we should all go live in Botswana. You think as citizens of South Africa, this is fair for us? Us that is giving away all the electricity to the next country. We are still being double charged on tax and still we're getting load shedding. Imagine. No, I think it's very unfair and we should Obviously, the writing letters to the government don't help. They don't listen, apparently. So, we should, we should become the government as citizens of South Africa. And what can we do about it? Should we, stop, should we demand to stop paying, paying that 14% on everything that we pay in the shops and be it in the restaurants, whatever? Should we just refuse? Should we strive to completely refuse to pay that 14%? Because at the end of the day, what is it helping? Yes, we should strive to stop. We shouldn't pay taxes until... They stop stealing our money. So we're going to teach them a lesson? Yes, we're going to teach them a lesson. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Have a good day. Hi, I'm Andrea on Speak Your Mind. This is Dean TV. So we, today we're speaking about the cost of living. Um, we've got prices going up ridiculously. And to me, I feel it's kind of unfair because some people can barely stand on their two feet. And just as, they, just as they're about to try, here the prices are going up. Where does this leave you and me, the consumers of this country? Um, you know, in this country, there is too much poor and too little rich. You understand? Like example, you, I walk past now, you ask me, I can't even spend three to four minutes because I must hunt around to feed my kids, you know? You ask a rich man to buy your bread and half a dozen eggs, he laughs at you. What do you do? I mean, the government is sitting there, the president. What did he do with the 250 million he took? He could feed how many people? He could build how many homes? He could build how many children homes? For, for, for street kids, they want to name bridges here yeah, with all different types of names, which is going to cost millions to name bridges. You got to change, you got to change your your telephone directories. You got to change your your maps, which cost money. They could take that money and build houses and feed and feed the nation. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to um, put names on dead things, which is bricks and stones, where people are alive, just sleeping on the parade, sleeping in the streets? Give me another two, three months, me and my wife and my kids are on the street. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been looking for work for how long? Mm -hmm. For almost four years. I get a disability grant. A disability grant is nothing. 1,000 point is nothing. Mm -hmm. The people marching, old people marching to Parliament is like, it's like water with ducks back. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's fair. I think this government, he must take his democracy and he must restudy what this democracy mm -hmm. means. Because this is not democracy. Mm -hmm. This is really like genocide, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. This is... This is, this is, this is, I, I don't have a word for it. Because you know, they say our country is a developing country, but oh, at the end of the day, sir, 
getting down to it, are we really developing? Because as you said, we're having more people becoming poor and uh, less beca people becoming rich. So at the end of the day, what is going on? And I mean, what no, can we do no, about no, this? No, because no. there should be a solution. We're not, no, we're not developing. You know why we're not developing? Because our parliamentaries, that such in parliament, they don't go home at night and go sit down and look at the house and look at all the food in the house and think to themselves, did we fight for this or did we fight for the poor outside? No, we fought for ourselves, not for the poor. Even the Bible says, beware you that don't reach the poor among you. They even ignore the Bible. So where are they going to take notice of me and you? We can talk to we blue in our face. They just want money. And the day they die, they can't take nothing with them. Mm -hmm. Everything stays behind. Mm -hmm. The only day alone going to the hole. Mm -hmm. And the five, ten million, it stays in the bank. The children messes them up. Mm -hmm. He's on drugs, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. Why can't they just feed the poor? Look up to the poor. Like example, why do you want to name a building or a street? No, a bridge. This bridge here in Cape Town, the seven bridges they want to name. Mm. You know how much money it's going to cost them? They could build houses, they could feed kids. That's what I say. They're thinking back to front. They're not thinking forward. Do you think the whole, the whole Ubuntu, the whole I am because you are and you are because I am, I feel that is dying out. Do you agree with me? I think that never stood. When Nelson, Man when Nelson Mandela was alive, it stood. When he died, everything else died with him. If they had to take his legacy and live up his legacy in Parliament, like Zuma, I can't say he's my president. I can say Nelson is my president. If we had to take Nelson's legacy and follow his legacy, this country would have been standing properly today. But they're taking his legacy and they're putting it in a drawer and they're shutting it closed. Because he meant something not for the country but for the world. I can't say that about Zuma. I'm sorry. They're wasting our time. They might just, might just close the doors on this country. And, and dig a hole and put the country yeah. now. I'm being serious. Thank you so much, sir. Pleasure is mine, man. I'm Zuki. For you. Speak your mind on Dean TV. Speak your mind on Dean TV. <laughs> what do you think about our topic at hand? Speak your mind, please. Speak my mind. What do I think about the topic of uh, cost of prices rising? Yeah. Uh, for instance, ESCOM increasing prices of electricity. Well, I think it can be avoided because obviously ESCOM being a monopoly run by the government, they don't... Um, allow privatization and more uh, competition to happen within like the power of the power um, industry so we can actually have um, private owned companies that own electric like for instance solar power um, wind power you know basically like private companies that are developing ideas to create energy but it's it's in the hands of the monopoly so we can't decide what happens it's between the government and, and the escom um, so I think if we privatize like our future leader, hopefully, the DA said, um, he said that we privatized that more, and if we had more competition, more jobs would be created. Um, it's a win-win for everybody. More power, more jobs, it, it can't go wrong. So I think if we let the, let the government decide to have more competition in, in power, I think that could drop the prices because uh, of competition as well as... The so when, are the, when is the government going to do this? I mean, when? let's get serious, me and you. Let's, let's, let's talk now. Let's Let's be frank right now. We're going to be waiting on the government for how long? And exactly what are we waiting for them to do? Next election. I think maybe next election, I think we can do that. But what we can do is, uh, as a unit, as people, mm -hmm. is use social media, um, get together, um, obviously approach government mm -hmm. head on, um, and find out what we can do. What, what can, what, who's the leader? Who's going to take us mm -hmm. to that? Um, but I don't think the government has really shown us that they can do much to, to change it. They're obviously on the side because they're getting the money in their pockets. So what we need to do is basically just um, stick together as a unit and, and work together in numbers. And do you think we'll be heard at the end of the day? I think we should. I think we have to. Our mm -hmm. voices have to be heard. I think especially as the youth, us as young people, we know what the future lies. And if we carry on this way, what can happen next? We don't know. We don't know what what will be. It'll be despair. It'll be crime. It'll be corrupt. Like you know, it'll it'll carry on. And all the, the increase to all this, best believe it leads to more crime. It leads to yeah. more everything it's happening. Being lost because and more the, the the power outages have cost billions to the economy already, which we've seen factually that actually the a um, lot of companies and businesses losing money from from load shedding etc. So that's affecting the whole system of the economy. So that obviously needs to stop, and power has to come in and clean um, renewable and reliable energy has to come into play and we need to actually step up and say we can actually do this it's been done in other countries um, it's, it's a progressive thing and as I said youth, us, youngsters, the educated, the, the sort of 
the people that think about everything and think about how the world is and how they want us to be. And how, if we want to have children one day, what kind of world they want to live in. Mm -hmm. We want to see something better. We don't mm -hmm. want to see the next, um, you know, all well, not Zimbabwe, but, you know, a lot, a lot like the rest of Africa, a lot of it has that sort of thing going. So we can actually be a difference. We can actually show the rest of the world in Africa that we can do it because we do have a lot of potential. You know, earlier on I met someone who told me, keep calm and stay positive. That's not the way. No, it's not the way. We can't keep calm here. No, we can't because it's it's enough is enough. I mean, there's there's just the it's it's going down. If we saw results, then we would we wouldn't have to. Mm. But if we, I mean, people in other countries, for instance, uh, people I know that live in Canada mm. they don't really vote uh, because the government's actually doing something. The taxes are very high, mm -hmm. so the government actually does things. They actually do produce results. Mm. So people aren't really worried too politically. But here, people actually are quite political, but yet they don't sort of. I can I say make an effort to change it? They just expect it to happen. That's the big problem. Uh, I think if people change that idea of expectancy and, and more like going out and getting it, then that could change. I think that whole mindset of people would say, okay, well, we actually are the people. We actually put these people in power, so we can take them out of power. Surely, it's the democracy. It's it's the constitution, our right as people to um, change things and, and be the people and speak for the people because we are the people. There we go, you heard it, we are the people. We have to become one voice and step up and speak our mind. Let's move on and find out more what people think about this. I'm Khadija Isaacs and speak your mind on Teen TV. I am joined today by Michael, Muhammad and Keenan. I know you guys thought I'd forget your name, but I uh, <laughs> surprised you all. Now, we're speaking about um, cost of living. Guys, fuel prices are going up. Electricity soon will be going up as well. Yeah. That's not liquor. It's, it's not liquor at all. I mean... Um, cost of living, people don't make enough money to basically get into what they want to, to, to do, you know what I'm saying, like, they, not, they don't earn enough to put enough food on the table maybe, it's, you must worry about petrol, it's load shedding, you're buying electricity but it's load shedding. We're not even getting electricity anymore. I mean, load shedding is causing loads of shit, man, that's <laughs> all I'm saying. So, um, but also, something to say. <laughs> if you think about it, it's pointless, the, pr the price of the electricity going up every time. If there is no electricity, you know what I mean. You're gonna be paying for petrol all the time. You're gonna people want to want to be taking the bus more than what they want to be driving their own car. So yeah, it is is a bit. And I mean, guys, I don't know about you guys, but I feel nice when I'm in some of my own car. You know, I don't like being in the taxi yeah, so much. Yeah, but now I. Was I'm up like, yeah, yeah, okay. Is my here? Okay, yes, my money. Just take it. <laughs> but guys, I mean. Why are we paying tax in the first place? I'm, I'm confused here. Maybe you can help me. It's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, it's true what you said, that we will be more comfortable mm. in our own vehicles. I mean, we have our own vehicles. Why can't we use it? It's ridiculous that the prices are just raising all the time. And it's like nothing is being done about it. It's, it's like it's never getting better. Now, earlier on, I met a man and he told me cost of living will forever be going up. Now, I feel that's okay, though. Now, but I mean, can we be more reasonable about this? Do you know what I'm saying? If you're going if, if to increase... Petrol, if you're going to increase electricity, increase what I'm getting paid mm. as well. Yeah. Do you, you get what I'm coming from at the end of the day? It's weird though that, that, that it, it happens in the opposite way. You Things are going up, but people are actually getting paid less for their qualifications, even the experience that they have. You're still not getting, if you work in a retail, for example, I can relate. Managers, and even if you're a manager or permanent, the difference in salary will be 500 rand, 1,000 rand. Which is not much if you think of all the costs involved for you during the month, as well as other jobs. So yeah, it is a bit, you know, ridiculous. Now, earlier on, a girl said we should get together and we should just completely refuse to pay the 14%. Yes. Do you guys agree on that as well? Because I mean, guys, you pay 14% on everything. You go buy a cool drink, 14%. 14%. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Where's the money going to if you just keep on having to pay more all the time? You don't know what's going on. It looks like you don't okay. people are taking money and putting it in their pocket. You see, it's like, yeah, give me, give me, you know? Okay, so what are we going to do about this? What is the solution to this? What can we tell the government? We can... I, don't, I don't really think, if you, if you think in terms of protest, it's not really that effective. Because, yes, they, you're getting your point across to them, but are they taking it in, you know? So, I think it will just come down to talks, maybe. Just get a group or of representatives or whatever of what you want happening um, let them have talks and yeah I suppose it's just a matter of conversation sorting things out actually resolving what, it, what the costs and stuff like that are, yeah. so we're kind of just hoping for the best here yeah. you must hope for the best um, be positive. Positive. stay positive because when you think positive positive things happen to you you know yeah. what I mean I think they should also focus on the youth I mean, without matric, it's hard for some people on, out on the street. 
but there are, it's hard to get jobs if you don't have matric nowadays. I think that's also a big part, you know, in Essa, in Cape Town, in the ghetto, whatever. That's, that's also what I have to say. Yeah. Well, there we had it from the boys. He said, think positive and positive things will happen to you. Let's move on and find out from the rest of Cape Town what they think about our topic at hand. Wolfgang Vashon, speak your mind on Dean TV. Hi, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. And you? I'm fine. I'd like to find out from you. Um, with the rise of the prices in South Africa, um, how, how is this affecting your household? How is this affecting you as an individual that has mouths to feed? And here you have to buy electricity, you have to buy fuel to be driving around. How is this affecting you as a person? It actually affects us badly, really. I don't think anybody can survive. So I don't even want to think about the poor people that don't work, who don't even have places to go to. It's, it's, it's just ridiculous. In, in two, three years, no one's going to survive. That's, that's, that's my honest opinion. Do you think that this is fair? I mean, at the end of the day, here we are paying tax, 14% on every little thing we buy. Here we pay tax on our, on our salaries, on every little thing we contribute, we're paying tax. Yet, everything is on the rise every other month. Is this, is this where are we headed to with all this? I think they should give us a break. No tax increases, petrol should go down, and then you'll see there'll be less crime and everything will be fine. Uh, my honest opinion, they, they do hard on us, especially the government, my opinion. What should the government, I mean, this is all because of the exchange rate. Um, the dollar to the, um, to the rand to the US dollar has lost 40 cents um, due to our economy's um, income and our outcome going out. You know, the government should be doing something about this. Why are we as consumers being, why are we the ones that are getting all the bad, in, being, accepting all the bad of this whole situation we get the bad because they think we we don't do anything we work for our money it's just that they want to increase everything but they don't want to increase the wages yeah if you increase the wages increase the bread mm -hmm. if you want to increase the wages decrease the petrol because at the end of the day love then everybody can love it we'll be quite fine but our government doesn't want to give us a chance our government wants us to be here where we can actually be here but it doesn't just Give us a break. We'll get there. Thank you so much. Thank you. Speak your mind on Dean TV. Mrs. Joseph. Mrs. Joseph, how are you doing today? Fine, thank you. And how are you? I am very well. Ma'am, today we're speaking about something very serious. The cost of living in our South Africa. It's on the rise. And uh, what can we do about this? And how is this affecting your household? Having to pay more for fuel. Having to pay more for electricity. What's next could be bread. But at the end of the day, you still pay for taxes. Remember. What is going on and, and how is this affecting you as a person? Hey, it's very bad now, man, because you see, we are paying for electricity, but we don't use electricity, I can say. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, two hours of the day, my power is off at home. Mm -hmm. But I have my, I did pay. Mm -hmm. My box is full, mm -hmm. but I've got nothing to use. I must now go and buy extra paraffin, extra gas for... Of which, by the way, the prices will be going up as well. The prices, yes. Yeah, you know, it's bad. It's very bad. Wait, what is the way forward? What do you think, um, as, as, as consumers of the country, we can do about this? I think, first thing, they, they must just uh, think about this also and think about us. We, we don't, some of us are not working. Some of us are getting very little money. So I think... Parliament and government must do something with this thing. I, I just think that. And uh, You know, Ms. Joseph, earlier on I met someone that told me cost of living will forever be on the increase. Which, if you look at it, mm -mm, it could be. You know what I'm saying? But if, you, if you're going to raise cost of living, don't you think they should raise your wage as well? Uh, but they don't want to know that. They know it exactly, but they don't want to do it. They don't raise our they, they don't raise our wage. They they do nothing about that. But every morning we must go to work and they know that everything is up. We pay a lot of money even for bread. Do you know that a loaf of bread is more than twelve rand now? That's bad, that's too much. I, I mean it's unbelievable. But our our bosses, I think they must try now and do something for this thing. It's not a, a, a right thing. They, at least they must increase our Small, because they're giving us small change anyway. Mm. Me, for me, yeah, it's nothing. It's peanuts what, I, what they are giving. And now the, all everything, is, prices are up. Everything, fuel, I mean everything. Bus tickets, 
I, what can I say? At the end of the day, you have to work. You'll be able. To, you have to walk to work. And I mean, what are you going to pay your school that's kids? Gonna, that's what we, I think we are going to do, because you can't pay for everything and expensive things. Things are very expensive now. So I feel somehow if they're going to raise the cost of living, maybe they should make one thing free or maybe less expensive, like transportation. Can we? Ha I thought when they said yeah. Especially here in Western Cape, they will be they will take away the taxis and bring um, my city buses. They will, at least they will be at least affordable. Hey, they are expensive also, very expensive. At least if they can just give us free ride, let's say from location to town, that will be much much better. We will never they will never hear us complaining again. Mm. Mm. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Too. Let's stay positive and hope for the best. Oh. That's, mm, yeah, I think we must hope for the best. Okay. And that is where you can speak your mind on Dean TV. Now, I caught up with Wolfgang. Wolfgang, we're speaking about cost of living in South Africa. Mm. What do you think about it? Speak your mind. Speak your mind, please. Well, I think it's really, I, I, just, ate, I just ate lunch here, mm. right? And uh, I paid 65 Rand and I'm stuffed. So I got to tell you, right, for me, it was quite inexpensive. Now, I earn Canadian wages, so it's a different story. Mm -hmm. um, I was listening to the news this morning on the way here. I've been in Joburg for about a week, mm -hmm. and I just arrived in Cape Town, and hearing about the, uh, the, the rolling blackouts, mm -hmm. right? They have this nice nickname for them, but the rolling blackouts. Mm -hmm. And now they're gonna, you know, they're gonna up, the, up the price 25%. Mm -hmm. and, and I thought, that's, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy, 25% more for electricity. And they're saying, you know, nobody understands how much it costs to shut the electricity down. And, 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 and you're probably thinking you're like... Yeah, I was here 15 years ago. I never saw rolling blackouts oh. here 15 years ago. But now it's rolling blackouts, it's... it's but now imagine, can we put this together? Sure. We, we're gonna be paying more for electricity, mm. for electricity we're not even gonna be getting. Yeah, yeah. What is happening? Where yeah. are we leading to though? Yeah, I, that's a good question. Do you, do you, okay. Mm. Can we do something about this? <laughs> Is there a solution to our problem at the end of the day? I, there's definitely a solution. Uh, do I have the answer to the solution? I'm not sure what the answer is. Um, I think that there's some amazing, amazing stuff happening uh -huh. here. Uh, I'm here for a conference on, on child and youth care, how to work with young people. I think there's some amazing work being done with young people, training, employment. I think, I think the South African government is committed to young people in a way that, that I've not seen any other government be committed to young people. And that, that's amazing. Now, if all those young people grow up and they can't afford to live here, that's a big problem. That's a big, big, big problem. Um, what I'm seeing though, there's some, there's some, there's hope. There's hope that th things can be done. Things okay, are Okay, now done. I'm gonna believe you. I'm gonna trust you. If you're saying I must be optimistic <laughs> about this, I will. So there's hope with mm. regards to all the prices going up. Soon, um, at the end of the day, there will be light. Uh, End of the tunnel. Well, no, no, because we're we're gonna have some uh, shedding. Some shedding. So we're not gonna have any when light. The light <laughs> <laughs> when the lights come on. <laughs> when the lights <laughs> come on, there'll be some light. But no. But in the interim, we're gonna be cold because it's winter and there's shedding. Yeah, shame. Thank you so much, Wolfgang. Okay? Thanks a lot. And, and speak your mind on Dean TV. Now I'm standing here with the man himself. I'm speaking about Jade Martin, Mr. Sir. <laughs> What do you think about the topic on the show? Cost of living, it's on the increase and what are we going to do about it? Me and you as the consumers of this land. I think um, what we need to do as consumers um, is find our own identity mm -hmm. because the cost of living in this country is basically like supply and demand mm -hmm. because people place so, such a high value on clothes and basically material things um, as what defines them. The companies and the shops and the manufacturers, they can up their price however much they want because they know this is where people find their identity in the name brand clothing that they wear. Um, same thing again, people choose where they want to shop. People choose what they want to eat. I mean, people's all going organic these days. So organic, organic producers can push their price up because they know this is the end thing. And I mean, if you're eating organic, you're all cool and stuff. So it comes down to finding your own identity and just, 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 just being your own individual. Thank you so much. That's my pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the end of the show. Cost of living will forever be on the increase. What it breaks down at the end of the day too is what you and me make of it. My name is Jane Kay. This is Speak Your Mind on Dean TV.